The people capable of war making in our society often get away with hiding behind characters who are portrayed as dumb. But while their contempt for American society has become very loud and clear, I believe strongly that the evidence shows that even their leaders who have risen to president of the United States on some occasions and leaders of other countries who appeal to commonplace understanding they're vaguely associated with authoritarianism, law and order, etc., are actually extremely cunning criminals. And it's part of their circus, the masquerade. And you may have noticed that the entertainment industry is extremely toxic. Doesn't um, allow itself to be put down as maniacal, and yet at the same time is very evasive of um, talking outside of the bounds of oblique strategies and um, cold blood. So you have a thrill and mayhem coming out of Hollywood and Swami Nostrums coming out of the rock industry. And this is supposed to be catchy sound uh, far out and mean nothing. When in reality, it's part of a very concentrated strategy. Public schools, of course, have been victimized incredibly um, sadly, and the children are being abandoned. Now, these corporations are far from uh, as stupid as they're portrayed when the leaders step forward. In reality, even their crazy um, meat grinders of war have a purpose of not just dehumanizing the cannon fodder that sent into battle and the civilians that caught in the middle and maximizing monetary gains that even the way they play two sides of the di diplomatic ledger. I had an acquaintance once who said to me, have you ever been obsessed with your superiority to everyone else? And I said, absolutely not, but I can see why you might want to go to Harvard, which is where you want to get that out of your system. And also explained, um, I think, why my father avoided, put, turned down a starting point as a student teacher at Harvard. That sort of attitude, he wanted the public schools. He thought education was for everybody. Now, you know that from Carnegie Mellon's Carbonell natural language high tanks, that there was a, a call girl for the Neva Corporation um, working behind the scenes, making illegal tapes for Ken Crimson and the Beatles and Yoko Ono, who had hired her long before John Lennon staged this disappearing act in the Houdini show that they put on to uh, torn and feather me as somehow uh, an inept disciple of that generation. I was just a child when they attacked me. And of course, the academic circus says what's wrong. I thought you said that the Everyone was equal in a public society. Are you putting down this call girl? And so they had it all sort of rigged with um, the landmines of their sophistry because she was being coached by the lawyers of a major and violent pornographic corporation. So the two sides of the fist were to force me into servitude as a trafficked child and then to come and play the violins of 
mercy for the all poors who did it. And if I um, refused, which I um, did and ended up poisoned and with diabetes and Parkinson's and anemia and the various things that are warning me about my age, being a senior citizen now, decrepit for my condi um, potential condition. Um, what's wrong? Don't you believe in your ideals that every man is uh, important? And what they overdub is, you know, that it's either put everything into the common pot or every man for himself and not fall the way to the bank. It's important to have ideals, but it's also important to choose protect your right to choose because there are sincere people who are being violated. And um, if you have the capacity to help them, it's important to try. And I, I know this in the community college environment, some people do try. But even there, the unions work behind the scenes to spoil everything as rip-off artists and slanders and then there's all the race stuff you know so when you're dealing with the new inferior some of it is superficial blocked mistreatment is not superficial but the idea that black people were the new geniuses is overcompensating for the issue but while you can take it seriously it's not something that's all that diabolical but it can be diabolical when the people who um, were behind the axis incinerators that killed european jewry start saying you think you're better than us and putting together war games where the israelis decide they're going to back the winner this time around that's very diabolical and when black people do go that Fu Manchu road, that is also very diabolical. Now, COP15 has tried to um, make clear that we're only in a position to even struggle and try to save 30% of the planet at this point. Maybe we'll be able to push back at the 70% destruction we visit. But ask yourself, would you want your body to be 70% destroyed? Now, we shouldn't allow these figureheads of um, destruction to say they're coming to our rescue with um, maniacal uh, scare tactics of destruction. Um, speaking of what our societies on Earth have recently gone through, but we do also need to caution that people will pretend they're needy in order to get into your pocketbook. It's the scammers out there. So work your defenses very wisely, but remember that your soul is not a symbol of anything. It's your real identity. It's not like a image in a mirror on YouTube. It's personal trait. And you need to cultivate that. You know, I advise people if they have the patience to read Pope Francis and Twitter and various other people who are inspirational. But it's important to remember that the tricks of the trade, especially when dealing with New York, people like Donald Trump, Yoko Ono, and Britain, people like Robert Fripp, they don't want you to have any kind of liberty. They're slave traffickers, and they see you as their robots. Greg Carl once told me human beings are just things. And it may be that, I don't know how much about the woke spirit, but it may be in part that sincere people in the woke generation want to get beyond being just things. Well, they're already beyond being just things. People need some common sense. 
we talk about using political correctness, not putting one another down, and yet pay tons of money for blockbuster films about killers and war and assassins, the worst form of putting people down. And the inferiors are always people who are nobodies. Jesse said, I am somebody. Pierre not coming him said, we need common ground. I have no idea whether any of these leaders can be trusted. They certainly haven't gotten us very much for our trust. But there's some truth to the homilies that these men live by. And we need to learn how to look for the truth and what's important to understand about our social obligations and social responsibilities. Because we are, after all, trying to save a planet for the children. And we're down to the raw hope that maybe we can salvage 30% of what's left. It's not a big deal. 30% of what's left. And if we don't, we capitulate to doom.